beauties welcome back to another Invisalign video it's been quite a few weeks since I've done an update for you and 14 weeks are up my 14 weeks are done and I'm very 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 excited I'm going to the dentist today at 1:45. it's currently half 12 I'm on a half day at work so I've literally just finished work and I'm going to get ready to go to the dentist my appointment's at quarter to two today and yeah I cannot believe 14 weeks are done and I thought what I would do is was catch up with you now before I go to the dentist let you know how I'm feeling let you know how my last few weeks have been so the reason I've not been doing Invisalign updates is because I was filming them and then felt like I wasn't really showing you any progress and I was saying the same thing and I just thought I mean you're not learning anything from me from my experience because I was kind of saying the same thing so I wanted to wait until now to do my one of my final Invisalign videos. I probably will do one more after this, but I just wanted to update you. So I still got my tray in. I'll take it out in a second and show you what my teeth look like. And then what I'll do is I'll insert a picture of what they look like before I started the process. So you can see the before and after. It's very exciting. I'm very happy with the results. So I don't know whether they're going to take all my attachments off because I still have all my attachments my attachments on. I don't know if they're going to just tell me that I no longer need to wear my Invisalign, that they're going to give me my Viveros, which is like a special made gum shield to keep my teeth in place as I sleep. So I just put it in before I go to bed. And I believe it's made out of the same material as my Invisalign. I'm not 100% sure if that is what it is, but I will be talking to them about it today. So I'll let you know as soon as I've left the dentist anyway. The last few weeks have been very easy. I think it was tray 11 that I had a few issues with and I'm not too sure why, it was just the hardest tray and I felt quite a lot of pain with that tray. Maybe there was a bit more shifting of my teeth with it, I'm not too sure, but I found that that one was probably the worst one. The rest were really easy and I found it to be such a simple process. And when I say there was pain with Tray 11, it wasn't excruciating. And there was just a lot of pressure on my teeth and I could feel it and there was like, I had a, a sharp pain every time I'd use the Chewy just to kind of lip push my Invisalign up. So I felt a lot of pressure with that. So that was a little bit difficult, but not bad. I think it's to be expected. I mean, I'm shifting my teeth, so it's going to have some, you know, there will be some pain eventually. So I was expecting it, but I think it took me by surprise because I hadn't had any issues before that, if that makes sense. But overall i'm extremely happy pain was it hasn't been that bad obviously just with that one train it was only like the first two days that i felt it but then it was fine it just felt like you were getting toothache that's how i could kind of try and describe what the pain was like so yeah it's gone really quickly actually everyone is has said to me how quick it's gone i cannot believe it so i got my invisalign on was it the 19th of December? I think it was. I think it was the 19th. I'll link my Invisalign journey video above and then I'll put all my other Invisalign videos in the description below so you can actually watch those if you want to. Um, you don't have to, I'm not forcing you, but uh, you might want to. If you're considering this, I, I mean, I think it's been amazing. It's been an amazing journey. Everyone that I've spoken to that's had like train track braces have said how much pain they've gone through like throughout their entire process. And this has been really quick, it's been really simple, there's not been many dentist appointments I've needed to attend. Obviously I did just for them to give me new trays and obviously to make sure my teeth are moving well, and they were, so I never had any issues with that. Um, applying the attachments was really simple, it took about 40 minutes I think, overall that I was in the dentist chair, and that didn't hurt at all. I didn't have my teeth filed, so I don't know what that would be like, personally, so, Obviously I can't give you my experience on that, but some people I know do need to have their teeth filed because they need that extra room for their teeth to move. I am looking forward to taking the trays off. I think it's really helped me in terms of my diet and the, the ways of eating because I've just been too lazy to take my Invisalign tray out to start eating munchies. So don't get me wrong, I mean I have indulged, but not as much as I used to. So I have lost um, a little bit of weight, so that's been really good, especially because I'm getting married this year, so every kind of little bit of 
body fat that I can lose and tone is just a bonus for me. But obviously that was never something that I was, I'd never did Invisalign to lose weight. It was just something that was additional to it. I'm excited to take them off, but it does feel weird without them on. Like I, even now, if I take them off to eat, it's just automatic for me to just go and brush my teeth and put them back on. So I think that is going to be stuck in my head for a little while because I'm just so used to it now. I've, my teeth have stained quite a bit. And it's, I think it's because the early stages of my Invisalign, I was a massive tea drinker. So they've stained my attachments and partly part of my teeth. So I don't know whether the dentist can do something about that. I know that I want to get my teeth whitened and that was something that they said that they would do for me. But um, I don't know when that would happen. Obviously I get married in November. So ideally before I get married because I'd love to have perfect white teeth before my wedding. But yeah, the staining is probably the only real issue that I found. And I mean, they're not stained really badly. And I found when I, I've tried to cut out tea and coffee. Um, I have the odd coffee every now and again, but I've started drinking more fruit water, like fruit tea, sorry, and like hot lemon water, which is something I like anyway. So I have hot lemon, ginger and turmeric, and that's really healthy for you anyway. So it's great for your skin. So if you want that tip, that's it's really good for your skin. So I started drinking a bit more of that and it's helped and my teeth are slowly starting to go back to a normal color, but there is some slight staining. So let me take my tray off so you can see what my teeth look like. This is what my teeth look like now. As you can see, I still got my attachments on, so I can't really give you a proper view until they're off. Hopefully they'll give me a deep clean when they do take them off because that would be amazing. Um, I'm so happy with them. I mean, I cannot wait for my wedding day, my wedding pictures where I'm going to smile and feel confident in smiling and not being so self-conscious about this teeth poking that way, which really annoys me. I will insert my picture here. So that's what my teeth used to look like. So as you can see, there was a massive difference. And that difference has literally just happened in 14 weeks, which is incredible. Um, I cannot believe it. So it would have been 14 weeks exactly on Tuesday. Obviously it's Thursday today, but I, I could only get today as a dentist appointment because my dentist went on maternity leave. So I wasn't able to see her and she's literally just popping into the dentist for like one day um, to check up on her patients. So I don't know whether I'll get all my attachments off today or whether it will be her just checking my teeth, make sure I don't need any other trays. I am hoping I don't need any other trays. Like, I am really happy with the results. I think they look pretty awesome. And they, at the moment, I still feel like they're a little bit off, but that's because of the attachments. Like, I can't fully see what they're going to look like without the attachments because they are quite eye-catching when you see the attachments because they stick out. And I am so, so happy with them. And I couldn't recommend it more, honestly. I could not recommend Invisalign more to you. It is expensive and you do need to save or you need to find out what fi like financial options there are out there for you. But it's great. It really is great. And I'm so pleased. Like, I cannot wait to just smile more in pictures. It sounds so vain, but it's... Was, bugging me so much it's bugged me for so many years so I'm so happy it's just been an amazing journey really so yeah I will take you along to the dentist with me I don't think I can film in the dentist but obviously I'll do a video after so you can I can give you an update on whether they need to give me more trays which is an option I mean they may they may say actually you might need one or two more trays they might not be happy with the alignment I'll let you know if they take off my attachment what they're going to do about cleaning my teeth, what methods I would suggest for cleaning, etc, etc. Like there's a few different videos that I could do for Invisalign. It'd be great if you could comment below to let me know what you'd like to see because there are certain videos I haven't done, but I can film them for you. I can show you like the cleaning process or anything like that. Just let me know what your thoughts are and I will see you after I've been to the dentist. Hey beauties, so I have been to the dentist and my Invisalign is officially off. I am so happy with the results. I mean, I can't stop smiling. I just keep looking at my teeth thinking, oh my God, like finally they're straight and they look nice and I'm so, so pleased. So I got to the dentist, I um, 
a heavy look at my teeth, made sure I was happy. Obviously I had the option to get more trays if I wasn't happy with the results, but for me, I feel like they work perfect and I really like how they look. I just like how they look. I just think it looks really good. So I'm super, super pleased. I have to wear tray 14, even though I don't have attachments anymore. I have to wear this for two weeks because I'm waiting for my Viveris to come, which is just my retainer. And I have to wear that when I receive it for six months, day and night until um, they're happy that my teeth are no longer going to shift and then I can wear my Viveros just at night. So I'm happy with that because to be honest, I'm so used to wearing Invisalign that it's not a problem and also I won't have any attachments so they won't be as visible and I know these weren't as visible either so it would just be like a clear tray. So I am happy with that. But yeah, I'm so impressed. I just cannot believe in 14 weeks my teeth have straightened and also after the dentist took off all the attachments, obviously my teeth look a lot cleaner, a lot whiter and I did find that my attachments obviously they stained and it was very very visible that they had stained but now obviously they've been filed off, you cannot see them and my teeth look more white and I love it. So honestly, if you guys want to get Invisalign, I would 100% recommend it. Definitely look at the financial aspects and look at your options. But for me, they've worked perfectly and it's not taken that long and my teeth are now straight for my wedding. So I'm so, so, so happy and yeah. I hope you have enjoyed my Invisalign journey. As I said before, if there's any questions you have about Invisalign or if you have any um, videos that you'd like me to film, Please do send me your recommendations, just comment in the description box below and just leave me your suggestions or ideas or whatever it is. Thank you so much for following my journey and I'll see you in my next beauty video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe either because that makes my day and bye. <laughs>